Hey guys, welcome again. Uh, this time we'll be looking at small expansion. Uh, I call them booster expansion because they are in the boosters. Um, first, we'll, uh, in this video, we'll to, uh, take a look at cities, then we'll take a look at leaders. These are the packs that we were presented for the seven year anniversary of Seven Wonders. I thought that's pretty cool. Seven years, seven wonders, you know. Uh, as you can see, they all have a small seven at the bottom. Uh, and let's take a look at them starting from the first age. The first card. Uh, can I do this? Okay. Yeah, I can do this. So the first card, um, they have kind of like um, a way about them. This is this is a card, this is a series of cards that there is going to be... Oh, sorry, this is the first stage. This is for the first stage. Okay, so the um, the first one, the first four from the from the left, you get one discount uh, for the resource that's printed on the wonder for your neighbors. Um, as usual, I'm rating between one and five stars, and this card is getting a two star. Sometimes it's useful. Um, let's say you are sitting between two gray players, mm, but it's pretty bad. Uh, like compare it to to anything. Uh, else, I, I think it, it can even be a one star card. It's really pretty bad. Um, and sometimes you are not sitting to, uh, with more and more expansion, you are not sitting even uh, with someone that has a resource on their card. It's not that popular, but uh, in that case, it's clearly a one or zero star card. Uh, I wouldn't draft it. I don't uh, like that it's in the pool even because it dilutes. Uh, the pool of the good cards, so uh, not really a fan. Um, I personally leave it at the box. I don't like. I don't when I have like my cities cards. I don't have uh, that in them. I have this card like hidden uh, because I don't want to throw this away. But I don't want to ever play with it because it's just uh, kind of bad. Then we go to the opium cash. Uh, Opium Cash um, gives you free gold, and every uh, other opponent loses one gold. If they can't lose, they get minus one token. Uh, losing one coin is pretty relevant. Getting coins is relevant too. I I like this card actually more than uh, the card that's printed in the expansion itself. Uh, normally, it's two points, and everyone loses one coin. Here, you, instead of two points, you have free gold. But I think this is better. Uh, just because it gives you more uh, leverage on the on the gold and it's actually more relevant here uh, so this card is getting three stars uh, it's not much better uh, than throwing a card away it's just one less gold for every other player but sometimes this will disrupt their plans uh, so this card it, that's why it's getting a free star but it's nothing great like it's decent then we have cells uh, okay Cells, uh, this is another series. Uh, you will be getting points for the mm, for the mm, victory tokens. Here you get two points for every one victory token. Uh, it's actually a pretty fun series. I'm a huge fan, mm, uh, but it's actually hard uh, hard to pull off usually. Um, if you can see like third card from the left, the campment pilard or something in French. Uh, let's say it's, I don't know, something something for the encampment. Uh, you actually get a token, a victory token, and it's actually a really cool combo because you can get like six points in the first era if you draft both of these cards. But there is a huge problem with that. Uh, when you add these cards uh, to the cards uh, that you usually have, uh, it's really impossible to even get them in the same game. Like, uh, there is not that probable. And also, you have to draft both of them. And th that makes it that the, the combo is very cool, uh, but it will rarely see actual play. Uh, so let's rate these cards individually. First, let's look at cells. Um, this can be four points if you win both reds. Uh, but setting this up is kind of hard. You, you probably need to play two red cards. Uh, in the first era, which is not that bad. Uh, but you need to play two red cards in the first era. Play this also. Uh, so that's three cards out of six. Uh, you kind of have to re have resources for those red cards. So let's say you already start with one of the resources, then you 
fourth card needs to be another resource for uh, for these reds. Uh, it's a lot of setup, and the payoff is not that great because you you can have uh, like a free point from pawn shop without all that setup. Mm, but it's not that bad. I, I would rate this two stars. Uh, then let's take a look at customs. If I can take a look at customs, yes. Um, it's hard to scroll this for some reason. Uh, customs four po four uh, four points, and this is a new symbol. Everyone except you gets one gold. So it's kind of costs you one gold, but it doesn't because you still get that one gold. Just everyone uh, you inflate the pool of gold. Um, this is actually not terrible. Uh, this is actually comparable with uh, with pawn shop. You get everyone else gets one gold. You get one point more. Um, I, I'd say that that's like a fair trade. Um, it's obviously good uh, when when you will be kind of counting points after the first one, but first round, but you are not. So I would actually rate this uh, two stars, uh, just like pawn shop. I, I would rate pawn shop two stars, and I, I think that's that's like a fair comparison to that. Uh, then we have uh, this. Whoa, it's really hard to scroll. This guys. Mm, I can do this, or I can't. Okay, I can do this. Uh, Camp and Pillard. Uh, I don't know the English name. Uh, you get one victory point. This is another series. Uh, that's what I was talking about in the first place. And your direct opponents get a minus one death token. So it's actually like two points versus your opponents, but versus like if you are playing a four player game, the player directly, um, directly in front of you, uh, this is just a one point swing. And that's why I'm rating this a one star. Uh, this is better uh, in three players. Uh, but it's still not worth it. Uh, I really don't like this card uh, because it's it's kind of mean also. And it doesn't need to be mean and it's not good. So let's say that your opponent like sitting next to you draft this card. You are kind of getting punished for his bad play. Uh, so I'm not, not a fan of it by any means. If it was giving... Um, uh, losing um, like not dead tokens but uh, minus one uh, fight tokens uh, then maybe it can combo or, or like you can fight fight it with memorial this is a second age card uh, where you get uh, where you uh, this is like a really tricky and really funny card because you get two first you get two coins for every loss so I guess you can get mm, four gold for this, and then you lose uh, every um, victory, every lost uh, token. So you can get like four gold at and two points if you lost two in the first round. Um, no, 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 sorry. This is a third age card. Uh, let's see. Okay, I, I'm just going. I'm just going to to do this. This is a third age card, so you can get eight, eight gold. And get four points, like because you you destroy every every loss that you have up to that point. So that would mean that it's uh, almost worth seven points, and it doesn't cost that much. And it's great for players that didn't go for um, for red strat. For it to be worth it, uh, let's say we have like three losses, so that's six points and uh, three gold. That's five points, so that's acceptable as well. Um, I'm going to rate this actually two stars, uh, just because of how I rate um, rate stuff. This is not any by any means. You don't have to draft it. You don't have to hate draft it. It's just a nice boost, uh, but it can sometimes be useful. Then we have Opium Refinery, uh, where you have again five golds and everyone uh, loses five golds. Um, that's three and, and one free point. But because of the depth mechanic, uh, this can actually be uh, like, let's say your opponents have like one gold, then they are losing four points, one gold, and you are getting five gold. So that's like six points. And this card is not worth uh, much. I'm actually going to rate this three stars just because you have to watch out for this. Um, 
if any everybody has enough gold, then it, this card is garbage. It's one star. Uh, but it's still kind of good for some players that can't play anything. Uh, but it's like one one star. But if everybody is struggling for gold and you are like the only one with gold, you can still pick it. And uh, if you you can get more than seven points with it. So th this card is really hard to judge. Um, I, I'm rating it three stars just because of the its potential. Uh, then we have a card that's um, giving you four points for every uh, five victory token. Uh, and this one actually can get you eight points, uh, but not really because it always costs two gold. So you are actually, um, at, at best, you are getting seven points and one third of the point. Uh, this can be very good for the red strat. I'm, I'm rating this three stars. Uh, but just because the um, the papyrus is there, and it's not usually something that you have in, in plenty as a red strat, but it's pretty good. Uh, then we get into stock exchange. I move this. Why this gallery is so hard to move? Uh, okay, so this is eight points, and everyone uh, gets free gold. Um, so basically, this is seven points. So this is another good card. I'm, I'm rating this four stars, uh, just because it's good for everyone. Uh, some of these are conditional and uh, like they vary on, on stuff that you do. Here, uh, the cost is very good. It's very similar to uh, to the blue cards, but it's actually less, right? Uh, because you don't need Papyrus. Also, you need to, um, compared to this, the usual seven points Pantheon, normally you need two clays and one ore. Here you need two, two wood and one clay, which I think it's easier to get, actually, uh, for most of the time. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I'm rating this four stars. This is a very good card. Mm, and, like, it feels good for your opponents, too, because they, they are getting gold. So so this is, this is a very fun, fun design. Mm, next, another one for the series, Bandit Fort. Um, you get five points, maybe six points, but you have to pay two. Uh, it's actually costed, so um, it feels right at home for the red strat with two, two stone, a, a cloth. That's usually what the what the red players have anyway, or they're usually prepared for it. Maybe not all of them have two stones, but the cloth is is usually associated with red strat in, in the seven wonders. Uh, but it's actually, again, uh, not a very good card. Unless you combo it with the... Uh, with the prison, then it's not usually that good. Uh, so I'm rating this... Uh, hmm, it's hard. Uh, but I, actually, I'm rating these two stars. Cost is pretty, pretty low, so th this can this can be good for no matter what, right? Uh, you can you can play it as as Giza, for example, or something. So that's why two stars, not one star. Okay, then we go to the second era cards. Where we first we have Counterfeited's Office. Um, you get one cards from the discard for two gold, uh, and it's actually lighter than all the previous cards from the discard piles. So uh, this you get the lowest priority. Still, in the second round, at best, you can play it on last hand and get something, but it's not that great. So it's best used as a tool to get something from the first era. Uh, and I'm actually, this might be crazy, but I'm actually rating this one star. Uh, just because you don't, like, you don't look so much on the discards when you are not playing Halicarnassus or, like, Great Wall. Uh, you get the lowest priority, it costs gold. Uh, you are getting someone from the second year, uh, first era usually, so it's really like you're paying two gold to get something from the previous era. That's not worth it. Uh, I'm I'm rating this one star, and just because it it will take longer. Like the effect is pretty cool, uh, but it, it, this will take longer uh, for the for the game because people will be looking for this card, thinking about well oh, maybe this, maybe that. I recommend leaving it at the at the box as well. Then we have Opium Den uh, for the second round card. Uh, when you get four gold and everyone loses three gold, as you can see, this is just three gold difference compared to the third era. And I'm actually rating this card five stars. 
this is an amazing card uh, just because how big the swing is compared to which era it is in i think this could be free free and it still would be a great card uh, you are getting enough gold that you can cover all your bases and you are actually uh, really preventing all the other players from playing and the cost is not high. You you do not pay, you, you just have to have one Papyrus. Um, I really think uh, that this card is a little too good. Uh, it's not broken by any means, but it's still five stars worthy. It's a great, great card. Um, then we have uh, Jail Yard, another one from the series. Um, compared to the others, um, here you can get six points for two gold. Uh, the cost is pretty pretty okay. Like a wood and an ore is is pretty pretty okay. Um, in the second era, you can actually set up a, a lot. Um, I'm rating this three stars, um, maybe two, just because like red is not something that you can entirely control. Um, Sometimes it's worth prohibiting others from doing it, but not usually. Uh, then we have a six pointer that gives two golds to everyone else. I'm rating this a four star card. Uh, it's very good. Uh, it's it's almost like era free good, and you don't have to pay anything for it. Uh, the cost is is really okay. As you can see, Papyrus seems to be on on the more powerful cards here. Uh, so that's that's pretty cool. Uh, and then the last card that I'm going to, to talk about here, uh, Bandit Redoubt, the, the last one from the series from the second era. Um, you get three points for it compared to someone, but you, can, you have to pay one gold. Uh, that means that this card is actually getting um, two stars. This is like a worse blue card, kind of, in the second era, just because you have to pay for it. And it's not that great compared to anyone else, and you do not get um, you do not get a free build for it. One last thing I want to talk about here, as you can see, they say that you have to have uh, the expansion to play this, and I really think that you don't. If you are playing uh, with three, four, or even five players. Uh, right? How many cards uh, do they have per era? Five. So if you are playing with three, four, or five players, you can play with just this. If you want to demo the city's expansion, you can buy this. It costs like, I don't know, six bucks or something. Uh, really cheap. You can demo this. These are not the best cards of all the leaders. I, I would say that normally a leader's expansion is more fun. And you should get leaders first. But you can play this, if you are playing with less than six players, you can play this uh, leaders with this expansion just using the leaders rules. Uh, what more? If you want, if you are like a seasoned Seven Wonders player and you want to really try this new stuff, you can just use this. If you are playing with three, four or five, you do not have to mix all of them. You can just play with this. Then you have actually a really decent chance at getting combos with uh, with like bandit redoubts and cells, like sorry, camp and, and cells or bandit redoubt and jail yard. They th these combos actually can work, and you can play around them. Um, yeah, you can do a lot of stuff. Then memorial is better just because you do not have uh, diplomacy. Also, um, so yeah. Um, overall, my uh, my feelings about this expansion. There are some fun cards. Um, a lot like I like stock exchange. I like um, stock market, um, and I, I'm not a huge fan of these debts, high debts card. I, I like me memorial, for example. I like some others, uh, but this expansion is not that fun. Uh, I like cities is better, and I actually use just a few cards from this uh, because they are strong, and um, or they are fun to play and I do not use the others. Um, overall, not that great. Um, I think the, like, I like cities much better than leaders when it comes to expansion, but I like leader packs much more than the cities pack. So hopefully you, you enjoyed this, this rumbling. Um, see you later, bye.